big battle for the Lok Sabha contest, one of the most awaited and anticipated state is Maharashtra. The state sees an interesting battle with two so-called Maha alliances squaring off, while one uh, is the NDA bloc, which comprises of the BJP, the Shinde Sena, Ajit Pawar faction and the MNS. The other is the Maharashtra Vikas Agadi, which comprises of the Congress, Sharad Pawar faction of the NCP and Uddhav Sena. Now, the two rival alliances have been trying to work out a seat-sharing pact, but it is turning out to be easier said than done. Maharashtra is the only state where both the NDA and the INDIA are yet to ink a deal. Now, if we go by what the India bloc reveals, the possible pact will be 22 for Uddhav Sena, 16 for Congress and 10 for Sharad Pawar NCP. But what's the current status of that alliance? Let me break down what the friction points are. So, the Uddhav Thakre faction has released the list of 17 candidates for the upcoming polls, which includes the seats of Sangli and South Central Mumbai seat. Both seats, which are a point of contention for the alliance partners, Congress is miffed with the Uddhav faction, while estranged Congress leader Zishan Siddiqui, for example, has said that the alliance will damage Congress cadre in the state, something he says he's been always saying. Current Congress leader Sanjay Nirupam has called on the leadership to take a call and break the alliance, if need be, to save the party. Meanwhile, we are being told Congress is eyeing one more seat from Mumbai at least. Now, even the Sharad Pawar faction seems to be upset with Uddhav Sena when it comes to Mumbai Northeast seat. Sharad Pawar wanted uh, to field a candidate from his party, but Uddhav has already declared Sanjay Patil as their candidate from the seat. But it's not as if situation is all well for the Maha UT on the NDA side. If we go by reports, it is believed that the formula that will be adopted by the NDA is 27 for the BJP, 4 for Ajit Pawar's camp, 14 for Shinde Sena, 2 for MNS and 1 for the RSP. Now, what are the friction points here? And there are many. Thane, Marathwara and Shidi are turning out to be the problem areas because the Shinde Sena, the BJP, the Ajit Pawar camp are all trying to vie for these seats. Nashik is an interesting case. Each party is wanting to field a candidate from this seat. Parbani seat is likely to be given to RSP chief Mahadev Jankar and a seat that is being vied for by Ajit Pawar as well. So reports suggest if Jankar gets Parbani, then Ajit Pawar wants Budni, uh, Buldana. Baramati is the seat which is most awaited battle between Ajit Pawar and Sharad Pawar Kans, the classic first time battle between the two NCP factions. But Shinde's ex MLA Vijay Shiftare has stayed firm on fighting from the seat, even if he has to do as an independent candidate. That is certainly not leaving a great taste in everybody's mouth. And finally, there's a tussle brewing between Eknath Shinde and Raj Thakre over the Mumbai South seat as well. So problems galore, not as easy as it was seemingly at one point of time. And this is the one state which is turning out to be a conundrum and possibly a psychologically conundrum as well for all concerned. So can these alliances survive or will these seat sharing burdens be so large that some of them can break up as some, suggest some suggestions are indicated. In politics, somebody is going to be happy, somebody is going to be unhappy. But at the end of the day, we come together and contest together, fight together against the Bharatiya Janata Party. Our start was that we had 50-50, three seats in our three seats. But जिस तरीके से शिवसेना ने जोर जबरदस्ती की है और एक तरह से कांग्रेस पार्टी को अपने घुटने पे लाके दे दिया है वेग वेग प्रकार की बात में आता तुम्हें से लोकन बात में चालू ले रहा था कि राष्ट्रवादी ला तीन जागा दिला
right, let's go across to our guest joining us, China NC spokesperson of the BJP, Rakesh Shetty from the Congress Party with us. China NC, you used to make a lot of fun about the unholy alliances, the unnatural alliance of the Mahavika Sagadi. But look at what's happening in the Mahayuti. You don't seem to be on the same page either. Clearly, it's turning out to be a bigger problem than you anticipated. So first and foremost, let me please say that in election time, you're bound to have certain people who are aspiring and especially when the parties become bigger and the leaders that are uh, partaking in the election process, there are desires by one and all. But having said that, the actual confusion is in the Mahavinash Agadi, as we would call it. Because the MVA, you had uh, Udhav Thakre's Sena, today announcing 17 candidates without even considering the Congress when it comes to Sangli or when it comes to announcing uh, Sanjay Patil from the Mumbai Northeast seat. I would want to say that if you have announced a list and your alliance partners have not acknowledged it, that's where there is a real rift. So please don't worry about us. We are here to stay, we are here to work in tandem for the people of Maharashtra and keeping aside any kind of political ego, it is going to be an alliance of the Bharatiya Janata Party led by Devendra Fadnavis, uh, Ajit Pawarji of the NCP and Eknath Shindeji as our Chief Minister. There is no trouble on our side, so please no trouble spare on this uh, uh, what's uh, again, what's again? There are murmurs there even be. from the leaders of your factions that they don't want to be part of the alliances. I am not making this up. Now, I can understand there are a lot of aspirants and Maharashtra is turning out to be that tricky state because there are too many parties in each Shibani. alliance. But there are people threatening to break away from your alliances either, uh, your alliance as well. It's not like there's no trouble. There's no harm in accepting sh uh, Shaina that there is Shibani. trouble. Shivani, Shivani, what determines victory and defeat? The vote share. The Bharatiya Janata Party currently has 49% vote share with Ajit Pawarji and Eknath Khadseji and our alliance, which is rock solid as we speak. I think the vote share of the Mahayuti will cross 56%. That determines victory and defeat. No, but before yes, that, you have to decide seat always sharing. There is a question of who fights from where. We are not, we are not talking about that. which way the I'm voters will vote that. yet. Hold your horses, Shivani. Yeah. Shivani. Uh, when you go to elections, what do you go speaking about? You speak about the plank and the work which has been done under the leadership of Prime Minister Modi. And I want to say on record on your channel that victory is imminent for us. It is a few hiccups that everyone has before elections. Unlike Udhav Thakre Sena, that has actually announced seats which are not even in their uh, okay. so-called kitty. And that they have looks announced worse. it to According kind of to the dismiss BJP the Congress the Party. Party. That Rakesh is Shetty. much, much The fact worse. that the Shiv Sena Udhav faction has gone ahead and announced their candidates, Congress has not been participating in some of these meetings since Monday, that looks worse, no matter what the problems on the other side may be. Yeah, you're correct. Uh, today, Shivshin has declared 17 Lok Sabha candidates. And uh, yes, in Mumbai, we uh, had decided earlier that three seats will go to Congress and three for Shivshina. And person. one seat which we are claiming as the Sangli seat. But I'm sure that our alliance is intact. So Mahavika Sagar is intact. And by evening, Malikarjun Kharge, uh, Mukul Vasnik and Sri Uddhav Takreji will come out with a solution. And we are very much confident about Okay, one second, I have to interrupt you, unfortunately. We're getting some breaking updates now. And this is the big one uh, that everybody was waiting for. No relief for the Delhi Chief Minister, Arvind Kejriwal. As of now, uh, Delhi court has issued a notice on Kejriwal's main petition as well as application for interim relief. The court has noted that uh, noted grounds raised in the main plea and the interim plea are similar. But this is all. There is no relief just yet. Let me go across to my colleague Ananya to understand this better. Ananya, break down what happened today.
Well, uh, you know, um, the Delhi High Court heard his uh, petition with regards to interim relief, and uh, as the main petition, also the court has now issued notice in both of these petitions. However, the court uh, had made a categorical finding that the relief that Mr. Kejriwal is seeking, both in the interim and the main petition, are similar in nature. And if at all an interim would have been granted today, it would have been uh, uh, like granting the same uh, relief to mm-hmm. him in the final petition, and that's the reason why, in fact, the court has granted an opportunity to the enforcement director to actually put in its reply on both. Uh, in fact, the interim application. And uh, on the main petition. Just for the so benefit the of our viewers, Ananya, can you break down the interim and the main plea filed by Kejriwal? Well, uh, Mr. Arvind Kejriwal in the interregnum was saying that if at all, uh, you know, the court um, is uh, seizing, seizing off this particular matter, he should be released until and unless the final issues are actually decided by the court. Yes. However, in the main petition, he seeks to challenge the particular remand that has been given and allege uh, that his arrest is completely illegal in nature and that's the reason why he should be uh, released and this arrest should be termed as illegal. So basically, okay. since the both of these reliefs were similar in nature, the court thought uh, that, you know, it would be um, not appropriate to grant him and any kind what of interim at this Next now, Ananya, what's the next date of hearing, if any? Well, uh, you know, um, the, the, the Delhi High Court will be hearing this particular matter um, in, in fact, uh, next few days. Um, in fact, his, uh, uh, you know, the court has now issued notice in the main petition as well as the main uh, petition for interim relief, hmm. uh, which would be returnable on 3rd of, um, uh, in fact, uh, April. Uh, so that's, that's the next date of hearing when the okay. court would actually be looking into this particular case. Meanwhile, his bail hearing is coming up tomorrow and his custody could be extended or argued against. We leave it at that, Ananya Bhatnaga. Thanks a lot for breaking down those details for us. Going back across to our Mumbai Maharashtra guest joining us. Rakesh Shetty, apologies, I had to interrupt you earlier. Uh, you say that the alliance is intact, but there's seemingly a lot of problems you still have to override. And can I just point out, one of the problems for the India bloc has been, not just in Maharashtra, but pan-India, is that you're leaving it too late. I mean, uh, some of the cases that are coming to light, for example, in UP uh, and states that are going to polls in the first phase are quite dramatic. Aren't you leaving this too late? Hasn't too much time already elapsed? No, see, the election will be in different phases. So, we uh, right now, if you see the list, phase 1, 2 and 3 is completely cleared. Now, talk about Mumbai, it was in phase 5. That is the reason this was being delayed from this. And uh, later the talks would happen and then we would uh, declare it. But uh, f- the phase 1, 2 and 3 is already cleared from our side. But don't you think that your alliance is, in, is on Shivani shaky grounds? It was always on no. shaky grounds see, and now see, the seat no, sharing no, 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 is no. finally coming back. Please to highlight see, what see, Sanjay see, Nirupam see, and see. Sanjay Raut have said. See, this indeed alliance is intact right now. Mahavika Sagari is intact in Maharashtra. But the problem is not so big enough. Now, the problem is with the court seats. And as I have told you earlier, by evening, uh, Sri Malikarjun Karge is going to talk to Uddhavji Thakre and this will be sorted. Sorted how? If this was to be sorted, shouldn't it have happened before Uddhav Thakre announced his candidates from all of these seats? Shivani, after an announcement is made, how do you sort it out? After an announcement is made, how do you sort it out? Mr. Shetty, I want to ask the, the, that if there are already, we know how the Manchit Agari is anyway not interested in supporting them. The, uh, the, sir, don't the, worry about I'll us. We how, are very confident the work the that we have how, done with our schemes and the way the, the Prime Minister has worked Europe? tirelessly for the people of Maharashtra is known to one and all. So, as far as we are concerned, yeah, please hold we, your horses. Please Bharatiya answer Janta the question party, that Shivani is asking you. No, no, no. Bharatiya Janta Party claimed to be one of the biggest party, and we all see uh, your leader, Devendra Fadnavis, in new, news media. Yes, clearly. Say, we have 11 crore Ajay. members. It's the yeah, largest yeah. party in the world and, today. And, and, and you, people and who have chosen to forget all kinds yeah. of ideologies Once you come in power, and have come together where the Congress and the Shiv Sena have been at loggerheads Ajay. forever and ever. And here you see the you see the cracks in the entire process where you have the Sena UBT team coming out and announcing. And you know, uh, Shivani, as a journalist yourself, that the Vanchit Agadi and the Dalit uh, faction of 
the ambedkar group have chosen not to even go with them mm -hmm. so what are we talking about the victory of the mahayuti is imminent few hiccups here and there don't worry at least we don't uh, we are a disciplined lot that does not announce we'll wait names and see but i do want to ask mr shetty very quickly before i go mr shetty one, just once again i'm going to give you an opportunity rohit chandravarkar senior journalist is also joining us i do thank you for your time but mr shetty very quickly before i go to rohit ji uh, your own leaders are coming out and imploring the congress leadership the high command to say that listen our party will be destroyed you may better break off this alliance if you have to save your party this is your own leader saying it see uh, shaina ncg just interrupted me let us keep that discipline when if a panelist is talking you should not interrupt i what i was saying is ajit uh, uh, devendra fadnavis ji was a very confident leader and he used to say whenever he comes to power ajit power will be sent behind bars and he uh, mocked him by saying ki ajit power will go inside and chakki piecing and piecing and piecing uh, Pr prime minister shri narendra modi ji came to bhopal spoke about 70000 corruption scam and today shamelessly bhartiya janata party with folded hand accepted ajit pawar made in the Sir, deputy don't worry about us don't one second can i just come in can i just come in mr rohit has not spoken but uh, rakesh shetty that's not the question i asked you your problems with the you know the See, compromise Sanjay, that bjp Sanjay. has made one second that's an electoral issue of course you are right to bring it up when you go to the electorate the question i'm asking you is different your own leaders are saying please save the party first and don't go for this alliance because the party is going to be destroyed in in particularly some of these seats i want to bring in rohit uh, chandravarkar on that uh, you are talking this, about sanjay nirupam right yes i'm talking sanjay, about sanjay nirupam sanjay yes. nirupam whatever comment he has given that is his personal opinion not the party's comment so i understand I that he's imploring the party to take a call obviously it's his personal statement but your leader is coming out and doing a press conference and saying this so openly but and actually leveling a khichdi scam uh, uh, jai bat your own alliance Shivani, partner can i just make that, that a that one second mr rohit has not spoken i have limited time one second i have to give i have to give a couple of minutes to mr rohit mr rohit as a journalist what do you see uh, which alliance is seemingly doing better if you were to speak of it today i think shivani there are uh, pushes and pulls happening on both sides of yeah. the political divide there is no doubt about that and the seat sharing talks on both sides have been very sluggish and uh, not really uh, going towards any quick result or anything but today what has happened at uh, inside the mahavikas agadi is very damaging for the mahavikas agadi that we can say for sure and uh, one partner of the agadi that is uh, uddhav thakre's uh, sena hmm. suddenly coming out and announcing these names and these seats and these candidates is really uh, damaging because it has shocked the congress leadership Uh, in the morning, Barsaheb Thorat of uh, mm. Congress Party uh, gave a statement officially on 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 behalf of the party, saying that you know he didn't expect this and he thought he thought that this was uh, this was a big setback for the for the alliance. And in the afternoon, Prithviraj Chauhan has also given interview to to, to some OTT platforms, saying that you know this was not expected. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the way forward for them is because on one hand, Prakash Ambedkar has announced now that he will not be joining hands yes. with Mahavikas Agadi. on the other hand uh, udhav thakre is also announced his candidates so definitely a setback the vote division is uh, imminent and obviously the advantage uh, uh, today looks like the advantage will go can to can i make a very BJP, small BJP point bjp led uh, mahavikas uh, uh, sorry bjp led mahayuti Maha okay 30 seconds each to shaina nc and then rohit chetty yes shaina nc 30 seconds Shivani, the two major points. One is the Vanchit Agadi has pulled out completely. They have chosen not to go with the MVA, and we know that the impact it will have on their entire dynamics. Second, when you have Shinde, uh, I mean Udhav Thakre's faction of the Shiv Sena. Uh, speaking out so unequivocally and saying that these are our seats, almost as if it's Dada Giri, Sangli. and sanjay dina patel's uh, northeast is never been a part of even conversation it is their problem to solve but look at the reaction from the congress you have sanjay nirupam saying that the uh, high command must intervene you have uh, bala saheb thorat absolutely in shock up, up in arms doesn't know how to contain the situation hmm. and you have this complete confusion brewing So, okay. what is left of a defunct Mahavinash Agadi is my question. 
Okay, Rohit Shetty, final comments. Uh, it's uh, Rakesh Shetty, not Rohit Shetty. I beg your pardon. Rohit Chandavarkar and Rakesh Shetty. I beg your pardon. Yes, go go ahead, Rakesh. So, uh, now, if you talk about Mahavika Sagadi, uh, Prakash Ambedkar was never a part of Mahavika Sagadi. We always insisted him to join, but things didn't work out till today. But uh, when we, uh, China and CG spoke about the alliance, now what is happening with Ekna Shinde's son, Srikant Shinde? Bharatiya Janta Party is not giving him seat in Kalyan, where he is a sitting MP. And they have four times. There are a fight going on in Bharatiya Janta Party and Chief China. And see, when this alliance happened, uh, this uh, Shinde Sena, this true. faction, always spoke about Ajit Pawar. That is the reason they have Sir, you don't worry alliance. about I, us. You focus on your own alliance. I, I, whether it's a Vikas Agadi or a Vinash Agadi. It is a Mahavika Sagadi and uh, uh, it's the not things true. people. Then why don't you uh, conduct this BMC elections? Why BMC elections are pending in Mumbai? Can you answer it? For last four years, there is no election happening. If you, Bharatiya Janta Party is so confident... What is the question she you? asked you today? <laughs> Your okay, alliance, can I just come and I'm running out of time? Yeah, I, I, I love this situation. Rohit, this time I am indeed coming to you. Because I give you 30 of... seconds. I love the situation where each alliance is talking about the other alliance problems. They're not addressing their own problems. But my final question to you is this, Rohit. We don't have the... problems. You don't Shani, have problems. We have no okay. problems. Okay. Don't worry right. about us. I love that confidence. But yeah. Rohit Chandravarkar, uh, is the public in Maharashtra truly confused what to do this time around? It, this is a great political story that is developing and it's going to be a, you know, I, I, the results are going to be very interesting to watch out for. Do you think there I could be surprises in store? I can tell you, Shivani, that in the last 30 years that I have watched elections in Maharashtra and all over the country, this is the most, uh, I mean, this is the biggest thriller, if you yes. want to call it that. And the results are most unpredictable. Uh, in the last 30 years, I have not seen any election where the results have been so unpredictable. The hmm. margin that any winning candidate is going to have hmm. uh, is going to be very small. That is one thing. Hmm. And secondly, because there are there is too much fragmentation and there are too yeah. many players in the field. Uh, the voters, like you mentioned, are really confused. And I am I'm thinking not just confused, but also fed up. They're hmm. also kind of getting fed up of all this, you know, all okay. these... Uh, 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 these alliances breaking and making and all of that. Yeah, so, and the, uh, one, the problem is that I, even if there are these alliances, it's not like they're really on the same page. They don't really see eye to eye. So the messaging on the ground is quite confusing. I have run out of time though, but I have a feeling we will discuss Maharashtra quite a bit in the run-up to the general elections. I do thank our guests for joining us. Time for a very short break. Some news and updates coming up on the other side.